today's legal term is writ. Now, a writ is an order from a higher court to a lower court or a government official such as a prison warden. So it sort of sounds like it's basically a note. Uh, it's actually just an order, and mm -hmm. it's in writing, and it's usually where we see it the most. It's to bring somebody that may be housed in the penitentiary to court, or say you have somebody that has a Denver case, but they're in jail in Adams County. So you can't get them from the jail unless the judge does a writ that says, bring him to court on this day. And then the sheriffs will go up with the writ, make sure the writ is served, they get the person, they bring them to court, and then they have to take them back to where they're going. So it's really a way to, it's, you know, the old writ that everybody thinks of as a writ of habeas corpus, and that's basically bring us the body. And that's really what it stands for. And it's just a day-to-day -day event that we do. Somebody's got another sentence they're serving somewhere else, there's a writ to bring them in. It's much more complicated to bring someone from another state that is a whole different thing. But the writ is really for anywhere within the state of Colorado. Oh and it's a court order, bring the body, bring the person to court on this date, but they can't do it without a writ because the sheriff can't legally move the person without a judge telling them to do it. Okay, makes sense.